but it's also to make you understand that if someone outside of you doesn't have it, if they don't give you what you need, and even further beyond that, they shouldn't have to provide something that you need, you know? But you are enough, you are perfect, and you are everything that you need. Don't let someone else be that. Don't let someone take that from you. Good morning, guys. Sorry it's been a long time since I've been on here. It's been at least four or five days since I posted the video. Do you ever get that feeling where you're just so tired that by the time you get home from your job, even the thought of creating another YouTube video it's just too much sometimes, and I apologize for that, but I'm here and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit of a story, and it's about how not to have self-love and how not to treat yourself. When I was a young man, I met this girl, and if you end up finding this video, I do apologize, but for the sake of not using anyone's real names, we'll call her Stephanie. Stephanie... <laughs> I really had a crush on her. Sorry. Stephanie, I really had a crush on her in 10th and 11th grade. And she seemed like out of reach. And I don't know why, but at this time, I was a different guy. I focused on the Bible every single day. I wouldn't look at a girl if I thought she was attractive because I didn't want to lust for her in my mind because in the Bible it says when you look at a woman with lust, you've committed adultery with her in your heart. So I didn't want to do that. So I liked girls, but it was just really hard for me to find one that I could be with because I had so many strict personal beliefs. But one year, Stephanie broke up with her boyfriend and we won't use his name either, we'll call him Jerome. Um, <laughs> if you knew his real name, you'd think that was hilarious. But uh, she broke up with him, and I just found an opportunity, and we started dating, and I fell insanely in love with this girl, and the problem was I could tell she didn't feel exactly the same as I did. And something about my personality back then that meant I needed her more. The fact that she didn't want me as much as I wanted her made me need her more. And so I would constantly think about her and write poems about her and also focus on the fact that I knew that she wasn't thinking about me like that. And she would have affairs and when I went off to college we stayed together. And you know, I don't blame anyone because we're children. You don't go off to college in a another state 12 hours away and just make it as high school kids, but we got engaged um, in high school, just to go back a little bit, because this is really sad and I regret this. She went out to her car one time and I saw a text message on her phone go off. This is the old flip phones and I popped it open. And she was having a discussion with her ex-boyfriend Jerome that said, He's offered you a trip to Disney World? And that was talking about me. I had offered a trip to Disney World. I cashed in my grandmother's life insurance that she gave me. And I wanted to take Stephanie to Disney World. And I saw the text. And she was just like, yeah, I'm just going to get a free trip out of it. And at that point I knew she didn't want to be with me. But something insane happened within. Something absolutely nuts happened within, and I decided that that meant I needed to try even harder. Even harder I had to try. Fucking mistake. <sighs> so I ended up eventually asking her to marry me on an island out in Lake Lanier. And I don't know why, but she agreed. And then I went off to college and it was my grandma's ring, so never saw that again. But I went off to college, she kept having affairs on me, and I literally wasn't dating anyone else in college because I was a faithful person. And it, would, it crushed me, absolutely crushed me. I remember the first day after one of the times she cheated on me and broke up with me, I went to class with no shirt and no shoes on, I told them that I was practicing my rights protest, but really what happened is I got 
I partied too hard the night before and couldn't find my clothes because of uh, sex. But the moral of this story and the reason I wanted to put this story out there is it is a bit about myself. I want you guys to know me. But it's also to make you understand that if someone outside of you doesn't have it, if they don't give you what you need, and even further beyond that, they shouldn't have to provide something that you need. You know? But you are enough. You are perfect. And you are everything that you need. Don't let someone else be that. Don't let someone take that from you. And don't let someone be the reason that you get up every day. Because you need to be the reason you get up every day. I just want you guys to know that. I love you guys. Take care. I'll see you soon.